Good afternoon. Uh, in this video, I'd like to uh, introduce a bit of the uh, analysis uh, uh, we do on uh, insurance companies. Uh, here is an example uh, I've taken uh, uh, from a course uh, on a child of science. And uh, as you can see, uh, this is an Excel file and uh, it is um, um, a summary of what is happening what, inside an insurance company behind the scene. Uh, and we are going to take consideration of the uh, actual reserves, which means uh, the, the money um, a company should put uh, on a side to be able to uh, meet uh, their duties. So in this, uh, in this file, we have uh, um, 10,000 policies, a premium, uh, a claim of 400, and an interest rate and a standard deviation. Uh, as you um, may be already acknowledge, uh, someone uh, who wants uh, uh, an insurance service uh, um, is, uh, is re has a, the requirement for paying uh, a premium. And uh, if the event for which this, uh, um, this policy has been uh, put in place uh, verify, uh, the uh, company will pay out uh, a claim to uh, the policyholder. Uh, in this video, we are going to uh, introduce a bit uh, um, a life insurance uh, policy, a premium uh, for, for a claim of 400 that will be paid um, in case uh, um, uh, the, the event uh, verify. In this in this file, um, we have uh, um, summarized a projection. It's uh, what is happening behind the scene of our insurance company. Okay, there is uh, uh, the numbers of years the policy will be uh, valid. In this case, it's a life insurance uh, uh, policy, so it will keep going forward uh, until uh, the death of the um, uh, policy holder. Uh, we have supposed that the um, policy um, starts when the policy holder uh, is 40 years old. And uh, uh, we have used um, this data, uh, this life uh, and mortality table. Um, we have the number of policies because we are uh, going to project and take consideration of the uh, actual reserve for, for the insurance company when the company has. Um, 10,000 policies. Obviously, along with the years, uh, this policy will reduce in number um, uh, as the uh, event occurs. So, uh, the premiums received are listed here, and the mortality rate, the main. Um, and we are going to explain this bit here about, about how we take consideration of the mortality rates and then the claims paid. The last bit is, is the most important one and uh, uh, is the financial part. Mm, to uh, mm, calculate the, the premium uh, received, what we do is uh, multiply uh, the number of policy for the, the amount of the premium. As we have said, the premium will, be, will stay always the same for, for the whole period until that. The mortality rate has been taken um, uh, for, for a 40 years old policy holder and it's the probability 
to die uh, within a year. Uh, then, as we have 10,000 policy, we need to consider the, the average number of deaths. And to do this, we multiply the mortality rates for the number of policy. Uh, then uh, it's important to take consideration of the deviation of the num number of deaths by the mean. Okay. Uh, after we have this tool, we can uh, what we want. It's a normal distribution that will tell us the number of deaths uh, uh, each year. So. Uh, what we do next is just uh, um, replicate a um, random number uh, between 0 and 1. Okay, so now we, what we want is normalize this um, data that we got to obtain the number, the most probably numbers of that. Um, and then, uh, th then uh, we are going to take these numbers out of the total number of policies each year, um, because uh, along the year, individual um, policy holders, uh, some of them will die, some of them not. So we have made a uh, prediction that most probably uh, we, ha we will have this number of deaths. To obtain this number of deaths, we just use a, a function in R, which is norm inverse. Uh, and, and this, this function, uh, and we round the, the result, um, this function, uh, what does? Transform uh, our uh, information in a normal distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one. So we do give the input to have uh, this mean, this standard deviation, and this value. The function will normalize this value, so that means standardize this value to obtain a normalized figure. This uh, will be uh, all, all this column will be a vector of most probably numbers of deaths uh, along the years. And what do we do next with this number? We uh, use this number to calculate the remaining number of policies starting the, the, the financial part of the calculation consider the calculation of the actual result is this one here. We have uh, claims. So insurance paid a claim when the uh, unwanted events occur. So in this case he will pay if the policyholder dies. So the first year, so the year zero, zero so when the policy starts, there is no, no never, it, it, it won't be considered anything because the, the insurance company is very impossible that will pay uh, a sum as the policyholder is alive. So uh, the claim paid will be considered from year one. This, this will be the number of deaths for the, the, the year zero times the claim. Because we have 10,000 policies. Okay, so from this, of this 10,000 policies, six policy will requ require a payment. So how much the insurance company is going to pay for year one? Most probably, six times the, the claim amount because in this case, in this condition, the, the insurance company has observed six deaths, even if within a year. 
So this, this will be the first commitment of the company in year one. And so forth and so on for, for the following years. Then um, we have uh, uh, elaborated a, um, a column with random interest rates. This number, uh, random interest rates, uh, is just uh, being calculated with the function rand. Rand and then um, calculate this, this value. Um, for the same reason as before, the same things that we did uh, for, uh, uh, with the probability of that. Here is uh, our interest rate, normalized interest rate, how it is obtained. Just as the same way we have obtained the number of deaths. We have interest uh, rate mean, we have the standard deviation, it's already uh, provided in the exercise, and then we have a random number. The, this uh, uh, normalizing function let us to have a normalized vector of values. We uh, will use to uh, calculate the actuary reserves. Okay, how are they calculated? Obviously, the first value is exactly as the same as the uh, amount of premium received, but. The following years, it will be the uh, reserves uh, the, uh, the, uh, of the previ previous year um, updated with interest rate that we have projected, con uh, take the consideration of, uh, for us is a normalized one, and then uh, the uh, numbers of uh, the, the amount of premiums received in year one decreased of the amount of claim paid okay so this is how it works for 10,000 policy of in in this exercise we haven't made made projections to see how this 10,000 policy can combine differently, like for example, uh, uh, for, for two, 200 uh, times in different ways. And this is what we're going to do in the next video. So in this video, we have obtained uh, the uh, reserves, the actual reserves, so the amount at today, the insurance company has to put on a side, on a side to be able to um, pay for its duty, for its commitments. If we want to answer a simple question like um, what is the what will be the actual reserve at year 30, we see that at year 30 the amount of the actual reserve would be this, this value. It's all for today. Bye now. See you soon.